Hello Scorpio friends and welcome to the Immaterial Garden for your weekly reading. Thank you so much for your likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. It does make a difference and you are appreciated here. Alright, how the readings work. If I remember, if we have any court cards on the table at the end of the reading, I'll do a mini dealing with that sign reading. We may wrap it up with some nerd stuff if I have the energy or if we have time, okay? Alright, everything else you need to know about the channel or the reading is listed down below in the description box. That includes the link to this month's astrological weather. Stay tuned for the May astrological weather episode because I'll give you details on how you can win a free uh, pre-recorded personal reading from me. And remember, I don't actually offer personal, so this would be the only way that you would be able to have a personal reading from me. All right. Um, everything else down below. Also, you'll see who this may resonate with, as well as the list of decks we use for the channel. All right, Scorpio friends, let's go ahead and get into your reading. We are just coming off of that new moon in Aries, and the moon has moved into the sign of Taurus. What are the overall, what are the top three energies that will probably be of interest or that will affect you, especially for the next seven days, possibly beyond. I'm gonna pull them all out and then we will go ahead and break them down. We start with the sun energy though. We have light, okay? Oh, it feels like some, feels pretty positive, feels warm. Let's see what else we have here. We also have silence though and the snow. So we get this theme of fire and ice, hot and cold, all right? Let's go ahead and take a look here. What else do we have? We have the soul, we have passion. So it does look like at the center of your reading, there's silence. At the center of your reading, there's silence, stillness, or no communication is what I'm getting, okay? Uh, let's go ahead and take a look here. What's at the bottom? We have volcanoes though, power. So this could be about the a push and pull, a hot and cold cat and mouse. Maybe there is a connection that has gone cold and silent on you and yet you're still burning for it it looks like you're still very focused on it with the eye here it also feels like you're still very passionate about it you're trying to keep your optimism alive your hope alive that someday the relationship or the connection may be as it was before or possibly better okay i feel like for some of you you hope at the very least to to get back to where you were with this person i feel like this was a very i feel like what might have complicated the relationship it might have been sex that complicated the relationship whatever happened between the two of you it looks like it may have ended in sadness or tears because this eye looks like it's crying but someone may be still keeping an eye on the other person even though they they're too far away to feel that person's warmth okay or to pick up on their warmth as what I'm getting on life signs is what I'm getting so someone might be watching someone from a distance someone could be very hyper fixated on the connection they could be continuously imagining or dreaming or fantasizing about better days together is kind of what I'm seeing it could be you Scorpio it could be the other person however it it resonates with you just don't force it it does look like um, someone is very interested in what this other person is doing this other person that they've lost connection with or on the surface level everything seems still and cold but what you know when you think about the winter it's like yeah the plants they shrivel or they you know life goes into hibernation but it still exists there somewhere underneath underneath the snow underneath the cold okay so for some of you this could also be someone who has resolved themselves to um, lock away their feelings even though you know that their heart truly burns for you even though though you know there's great passion and great chemistry between the two of you all right let's go ahead and take a look here um, tell me about actually I'll turn this Sorry, hold on. <laughs> Alright. We'll keep this volcanoes here at the bottom, but I'll flip it over in a second. Alright, tell me more about the sun energy. If I had to call out signs at this point, I would say probably going to be dealing with a Leo, probably dealing with um, a Sagittarius, because Sagittarius, the motto is I see. Alright? Could also be dealing with an Earth's... Uh, with an earth sign energy, which would be Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, because that would be winter. All right, let's go ahead and see here. Tell me more about the sun. Tell me more about, you know, 
what is it that you, you have your mind on that you're thinking about? Here we have the Page of Wands energy. So with the Page of Wands, any fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, it looks like this person, it looks like they still, they're still just as passionate about the relationship or just as passionate about the connection as they were when you first met is what I'm getting here. But with the sun energy, sometimes the sun, the energy can be so intense. The sun can, it can give you life and warmth and light, but it can also burn you, all right? So I feel like here, this person, maybe they're just not used to feeling this way. It's a lot of feelings. It's a lot of passion. It's a lot of energies, especially for someone who on the surface likes to be in control, likes to, um, likes to maintain the appearance as well of control, okay? It's hard for them to control themselves around you. It means that you bring them a joy in a way that other people can't because they can be, they can, they can reveal themselves to you in a way that they can't reveal to other people or that they would, they would never choose to reveal to others, okay? Maybe that's why, even though this person goes hot and cold sometimes, Scorpio, I feel like that's why you're stuck on this person or that's why, that's something about this person that you actually really like. You like the fact that, you like the fact that no one else has gotten as far as you or you like the fact that even if they could choose others, they still, you know that they would, um, I don't know, you know that a part of them will always belong to you, possibly. All right, uh, tell me more, tell me more about the Page of Wands energy. I feel like you are, you are hoping for communication, okay? We have the Seven of Swords energy, Moon and Aquarius energy. I, I feel like you you are hoping that that's maybe this is what your wish or your hope is you want this person to make a passionate confession you want this person to tell you and to validate all of the things that your maybe your intuition or maybe you've wondered about you've imagined you might even be driving yourself kind of bonkers because you're like is this real is this real does this person are they hiding their feelings or am i just you know am i am i fooling myself is kind of the energy this person I feel like there's again it's stop and go hot and cold so it's hard to tell because sometimes they seem like they are so into you sometimes it seems like they are so about this relationship and other times it's like they can't even bother you know they can't even bother to keep in touch okay all right um Maybe you know, maybe you know this relationship or this connection is not necessarily good for you, but at the same time, I kind of feel like you have these suspicions, whether they're true or not, you know, they might be true, but you have these, and you have great intuition, Scorpio, but you know, sometimes what you desire, your, your passion, your desire can cloud your intuition sometimes because you want things so intensely, so deeply, all right? But I feel like maybe you're assuming or maybe you're wondering if someone is getting between you and, this, and the person on your mind. Maybe it's a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but maybe you are afraid there's some underhanded dealings or someone is trying to keep you from being with this person and maybe that's the way, that's the reason why they haven't spoken to you or they, they've dropped all communication, okay? All right, what do we have here? We have the King of Swords energy. So with the King of Swords, this is Aquarius energy, possibly Capricorn Aquarius Cusper energy. So Scorpio, you might be dealing with an Aquarius where they've gone silent and you might be wondering, is it them? Are they choosing this, okay? Because you know that they have desire or passion for you, or is it someone putting them up to this is what I'm getting. You might be concerned there's a fire sign. Even if this this Aquarius, they might have even told you like, uh, we need to end this or something like that. I feel like you might, but there's a haunting feeling, Scorpio. You think it's because this fire sign, probably most likely a Leo, is is almost influencing or manipulating this person into saying those things. Now, you might be right. I'm gonna put that out on the table. You might be right, Scorpio. The problem here, though, is I feel like this Aquarius has kind of made it as clear as they can that they're not, uh, you know, um, 
their silence is the answer, okay? Their silence speaks volumes is what I'm getting here. I feel like it's hard to accept. And even if that's the case that they are choosing to neglect the connection, even if they have someone else in their life or even if someone else is pressuring them, you do have to remember like everyone else, they're an adult. It's a choice that they're making. It is the answer, okay? That's their answer to how do you feel about me? That's their answer to what do you want from this relationship, from this connection, from me, all right? It's not easy to hear, but I feel like if it was if it was the other way around, I don't feel like you would have cut yourself slack. I feel like um I don't know. I I just kind of feel like even if this person truly has love in their heart for you, they're not showing it. And if they're not showing it and they're not communicating with you, then how much is really left or what is what is worth holding on to here okay even if you're even if it's written in the stars and eventually you're meant to be together or whatever whatever it may be does that excuse the way that they're treating you now is that does that excuse the way that they have treated you in the past which is you know coming in and out as they please is what i'm getting here all right wanting you know accepting all the love and all the care and all the all the resources right but but never really never committing to it never um never offering as much back is what i'm getting okay yeah we do have the seven of cups energy we have the six of cups and the seven of cups energy so with the six or oh, sorry six of pentacles and seven of cups six of pentacles moon and taurus energy that's now uh, again, the moon has just moved into the sign of Taurus. Seven of Cups energy, that's Venus and Scorpio energy. So what does this person, you know, what do they feel like they give to you? Well, to some degree, this person, they might be a little bit cocky in the bedroom because I'm kind of getting their gift is their sex, <laughs> okay, is what I'm getting. But in this case, you know what, Scorpio, that there might be something to that because I feel like... Um, I feel like that's mostly how you connect with this person or this that's mostly how this person could claims to to connect to you or to be able to connect to you is physically sexually even if they're even if you're with them it's kind of like even if you're physically there with them there is just something kind of chilly about them uh and it's not all the time it's almost like you know maybe this person does maybe they have different moods or i don't know their energy fluctuates is what i'm getting but it does feel like there are times where even when they're there you feel lonely if you're not having sex with them does that make sense the sex fills the space of the emotional vacuum or the emotional void or the emotional chasm that is kind of between the two of you i feel like this person they they if you can't love the one uh, if you can't be with the one you love love the one you're with and when they're with you you're the one that they're with okay so they might be sincere in their passion definitely because they ha definitely have a physical attraction to you they definitely find the the uh, connection physically satisfying but in terms of everything else it's like uh i don't know i feel like it's just they're just having a good time or they just want to have a good time maybe they you know they want it to be almost like a, like an exchange you know they forget about feelings sometimes that's what i'm getting here it's like yeah it's like you can promise not to catch feelings all you want but eventually you know people do catch feelings and it's not something you can explain away rationally okay sounds like an aquarius to me because it's almost like they're taking emotions and they're saying well how can you be so upset with me or how can you be pissed with me because i never made any promises or you know we never explicitly agreed on this and you know we agreed we both agreed we weren't going to catch feelings but that's not the way feelings work right that's not the way emotions work all right what do we have we have the queen of cups energy so with the queen of cups energy it feels like this person though um when they're gone it's like you're just waiting for them when they're gone it's like you're just even if you don't realize it, it's like you continue to hold space for this person they have you very deep in your emotions and it's it's for whatever reason it's like you're really feeling it during this time possibly during the moon in taurus all right um I also feel like here it's like 
even though this person, they have a tendency to be absentee or to forget to check in or they just, they're not very, um, they're not very reliable or devoted, but it looks like you miss this person when they're gone. Or when this person is being chilly to you, it really puts you in your feelings because you've seen the alternative and you know how they can make you feel, how they can treat you. But this person, whether they, they are doing it purposely or not, and I don't think they're necessarily doing it purposely, Scorpio, they have this very, this power to put you deep in your own emotions. And they don't always, they don't always check in on you. They don't always, um, maybe the two of you, maybe you like to have like kind of rough sex or maybe you like to have, you know, intense sexual play or something like that. But I don't feel like there's a lot of aftercare or a lot of emotional care afterwards. I feel like that might be something that's very necessary at the very least if you're going to continue having sex with this person. Although I don't know if that's the case because it does feel like this, this person, this King of Swords, it does feel like they are trying to resist the allure of the relationship or of the, the situationship, the connection. Okay. Uh, they just don't see things the same way you do. Whether this is an Aquarius or a Leo or another fire sign, possibly an Aries or a Sagittarius, it just feels like they don't view the connection in the same way that you do. Even if they have genuine love for you in their heart, even if they do feel passion and attraction to you, all right? All right, again, not easy to hear, but I mean, I, I feel like this is going to be helpful just because I feel like um, at this point, this this connection is putting you in a very, in a place where you don't want to be in the energy where it's putting you. It's putting you in your shadow energy, okay? It's it's making you feel a lot of, a lot of feelings going deep within yourself, deep within your own feelings, and feels very emotional and continuing to wait for this person even when they're, even if they're right there next to you, continuing to energetically and emotionally wait for this person, it's exhausting. All right. But I do feel like you are putting all of your efforts into understanding this person, focused on this person. Okay. That, that's what I'm getting here. Why? We had 1010 fallout. Okay. So 10, 10, 10 could be a message sign synchronicity. Also, that's the wheel of fortune. 10 and 10 is 20, which is judgment. So, uh, but the judgment of here is you, you really do see the future with this person. When you look into this person's eyes, you see the future, you see the family, you see everything that, you know, that people dream of to have together. But we have the 10 of wands energy. This is Saturn and Sagittarius energy, but this other person, they view the relationship as, as not going anywhere else. They're trying to, they're trying to put an end to it. Sometimes they are tempted or sometimes they do miss you. And that's why they, I don't know if they're purposely trying to keep you holding on or if they're also, you know, they have a weakness for you. They have a weakness for you. That is true, but it doesn't necessarily make this person the right, the right person life partner for you okay that's that's kind of what i'm getting here from this message all right let's go ahead and uh let's pull one more let's pull one more here here we have the star card energy yeah i feel like this is mostly about an aquarius all right uh, maybe they're an Aquarius with Leo placements maybe you have Leo placements but ultimately here from as you're fixated or focused on this person, that's that's why healing is blocked. That's why you you know you're not going to be able to progress or move forward. You may still be successful. You may still be able to manifest, but what you're not going to have is the sense of actual satisfaction because everything that you create and everything that you flourish in, you're just going to lament and regret the fact that it's not this person. So, you have to find a way to hard cut the addiction hard, you know, cut, cut the hard line, okay? You have to be able to uh, uh, to purify, to purge, and to sweat this person out of your system because the reality here is this person, they're, they're done with the relationship. That's what I'm getting, all right? And that sucks because for some of you, I mean, for I feel like there is a, there is a uh, percentage of you where this person, they were as clear as they could be without, like, getting, you know, aggressive about it 
that they didn't want this connection anymore, that they wanted out of the relationship. For some of you, it could actually be that this person, granted, maybe they've been vague in the past. Maybe they have led you on, breadcrumbed you, didn't, done all these things. But in the end, now, when you ask the question, where do I stand with this person? Their silence speaks volumes. Their silence is the answer, okay? All right, um, let's go ahead and take a look here. Uh, what do we wanna do here? Let's put some, uh, tell me about this hot and cold dynamic that you and this person seem to have. We have the two of cups energy. Yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely some sort of connection, whether it's, um, you know, a relationship a situ or a situationship. But I do get the sense that, you know, you're, you're, you're lovers, okay? And you go through these cycles of hot and cold, cat and mouse as lovers. But I feel like you never thought that, that the cycle was going to end between you. But it looks like, it looks like the Aquarius really is trying to put an end, close the cycle out, okay? Not just to release themselves, because you're not a monster, Scorpio. You're, you know, you're a fantastic lover, partner, you know, everything else. But in this case, maybe it's just been too much for the, too much for the Aquarius or whatever it is, or this person. So it looks like they're trying to, they, they are trying to close out the circle the cycle okay we have what let's tell let's talk a little bit about this snow versus passion so it does look like here but you still have your eye on this person uh six of cups energy it does look like you know because you feel like this is you feel like this is a soul-filled connection this is also sun and scorpio energy so you feel like this is a soul-filled connection or you feel like you've put too much of yourself into this connection to let it go now is what I'm getting here. Also, maybe it's just hard for you to believe that this person's feelings have changed about you or have changed about the situation. Now, I think they're always gonna love you, Scorpio. I don't think they'll ever forget you. I feel like you were maybe their first love or you were, you know, whatever it was that you had together, it is really freaking special. It is really freaking special. And it's special to this person. But at this point, they are telling me that it's time for them to move forward and to move on. They put everything that they could, that they were able to give into the relationship and whether it wasn't enough or whether they just know that what you deserve and what you want, they can't give you either of those things, all right? Or they've decided that they're just ready to, to they're just ready to start a new chapter of their life. They're just ready to see what what else they could, what else is meant for them, okay? All right, um, let's go ahead and pull, let's pull two for, two for guidance, please. Tell me some takeaway guidance here for our Scorpio friends, especially for the next seven days, possibly beyond. Oh, we'll also do the, um, the dealing with the signs. We have the four of pentacles energy. Yeah, I feel like there is this feeling of holding on, holding on, especially, you know, and again, if it's vice versa, if it, if you're going to flip it, that's go ahead, go ahead and flip it. It's not going to hurt anyone. Okay. But I do feel like the person that is watching the other person, they are holding on, they are holding on and it's, it's hurting them. That's what I'm getting, okay? What's at the bottom of the deck? We have the Four of Cups energy, Moon and Cancer energy. Someone could have a Moon and Cancer placement, but ultimately here, yeah. But whoever's on this side looks like it's the the King of Swords, the Cap, uh, the um, Aquarius, possibly the Capricorn Aquarius Cusper. They're holding back. One person holding on, one person holding back. We have the Four of the Emperor. We have the Four of the Emperor. Two different wills that are not in the same alignment, that are very far away from from finding middle ground. We also have 44, which is the master numerology life path number of the spiritual, um, the spiritual healer. So ultimately here, healing comes when each stands independent on their own, okay? All right, at the bottom of the deck, we do have fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I do feel like you may have some anger towards a fire sign that you believe is the reason or the cause of this, but I do want you to know it's it's not the fire sign. It is, it's this person, it's their choice. That's what I'm getting here, okay? It's the choice that, it's the choice that they're making. Um, 
that's why they've gone cold, all right? All right, uh, let's go ahead and do the dealing with the signs. I think we got the, um, did we get any court cards? Queen of Cups. All right, so if you're dealing with, uh, even if it's not related to the reading, if you're dealing with a Cancerian person, possibly a Gemini Cancer Cusper, let's go ahead and see what is the, um, what are the messages between you and the Cancerian, please? All right, um, we have the Three of Swords, Saturn in Libra. We also have the Wheel of Fortune. So it looks like if you're dealing with a Cancerian, it looks like there's bad blood here or there is no, someone is not able to forgive and forget or you're not able to forgive and forget. Probably serves everyone in the situation to, to move forward and to try, to try to start the healing process. We have the Fool card energy. Uranus energy, also Aquarius and Aries. The moon is in Taurus, but it's forming an alignment with Uranus, which is the ruling planet of Aquarius. And also Uranus is currently in the sign of Taurus. Okay. But it looks like it's time to move forward. It's time to, it's time for both of you to free yourselves in the relationship, in the connection. All right, let's go ahead. Let's see. Um, let's pull one more here. I want to see what's at the bottom of the deck from the Oracle deck. We do have strategy, red fox. So it looks like like here, in this case, I, I hear a strategic surrender, strategic, um, what is that called? Strategic uh, retreat, strategic retreat, okay? So it does feel like, is this, is this, um, is this silence intentional? Yes. Is it being caused by an external person aside from your person? They might have some sort of influence or they might give some sort of inspiration or motivation, but ultimately this is coming from the person that you're thinking about, okay? It's time to reinvest that passion that you have, that focus into someone that actually can offer you what it is you deserve and also what it is you desire, okay? Um, there is someone who will be coming in in the future and they are going to I get like a princess bride I get as you wish so they have a Wesley sort of energy coming in for you but nothing can happen and nothing can grow until you're you're ready to move forward okay all right thank you so much friends please join me again gratitude to the divine to you and all of creation